All right, people, it's been a week since the whole drama started up with Sniper Wolf and Jax Films and YouTube, and it doesn't seem like any resolution is going to come anytime soon because YouTube has made it clear that they just do not care. Imagine, like, a little kid who's also filthy rich plugging his ears and closing his eyes and saying, na 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 that's YouTube if it were a person, okay? Now, you guys already know most of what happened with this situation but i'll summarize it real quick so sniper wolf makes freeloading content where she steals content and doesn't add on to any value of the video other than repeating things that happen or that are said and saying dumb shit that only a pretty girl can get away with and still succeed with and she doesn't credit the content she's looking at either and Jax films is another big youtuber who calls the freeloading that she's doing out makes a video on her then creates a satire channel of his own that's similar to hers just so he can chase the bag. It's kind of a meme too. Then Sniper Wolf gets salty over the fact that he's rightfully clowning her. Um, and she makes the bright decision to just show up to his house. And posts a picture of his house to the millions of people in her IG audience. When all he did was make her a meme. So obviously she's a little sensitive. Very sensitive. But yeah, Sniper Wolf posts a picture of Jack's film's house to her Instagram story, which is against YouTube's policies on doxing and harassment. If a YouTuber starts doxing people, they get, boom, clapped from the platform. Then, Jack's films, who's now shitting bricks about this, makes a video about how he's shaken up and how Sniper Wolf needs to be taken off the platform, which he's right about. And ever since all of this happening, which was around a week ago, can you guess what YouTube had to say about it? Nothing crickets but is this really a surprise hell no because youtube has shown us after time after time after time that all they care about is what's convenient for them to make a quick few million bucks they set up shit policies that aren't fun for the people and are just good for their pockets shit layouts that aren't convenient for the people and just convenient for their pockets they promote shit creators that appeal to the masses instead of creators who have honest content and an honest audience they don't want to promote what makes youtube so great they just want to promote what makes them a ton of money they just don't care bro and that leads me to believe that they protect doxers and of course they don't protect all doxers but if you're a doxer on their platform that's conveniently making them a ton of money, they'll just close their eyes. They say, well, you're doxing, but also you're conveniently keeping our image squeaky clean PR rated PG optics alive and making us millions. Okay, that's okay. You can dox. We don't give a fuck. We don't see it. Shit, I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, oh, Sniper Wolf, you can go kill somebody. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Could you imagine if Sniper Wolf just like stabbed a bunch of people in the public space? YouTube's just over there like, no comment. Uh, anyways, here we're here to introduce our new policy. You can no longer make fun of somebody's weight. It's off limits now. Honestly with all this happening though it is still sad the state that youtube's in i do think things are going to turn around though with like rumble popping off and kick popping off and all these competitor platforms i guess really those two i really hope rumble gets to a point where it can pop off and hold on hold on i know there's gonna be people be like ah he's talking about fucking rumble this all right platform chill out i'm sure a bunch of left people are gonna come onto rumble here soon and make it more balanced so it's like an all-around audience platform like that it can appeal to all audiences and act as a serious competitor for youtube finally because we already know by this point youtube's just like it doesn't deserve to be this big or it doesn't deserve to stay this big bro it's just bullshit now the first five years of it existing in the early 2010s that's when it was in its golden ages where it was just straight authenticity honesty integrity with the work that gets uploaded on here and the videos that get uploaded the content was funnier the youtube rewinds weren't cringe and also the policies were just fine and you can make more money on here but it's just turned into a wasteland of just bullshit like all the channels that exist now that are over 10 million subscribers it's like they have to put on this performative front and act fake in front of the camera that's how you get to 10 mil now if you're overly positive about something really stupid like making slime in a kitchen like or like 
a prank in a public space that's also stupid and you're just extremely exaggerated and enthusiastic about stuff. I'll tell you right now, part of the reason why I had a big blow up in the very beginning was because my energy was so high in the beginning. I was able to like keep on with this little mini front of just me being extremely enthusiastic and always talking and always keeping the watch flow going and always keeping my energy up so people wouldn't click off and the kids would get addicted. That's the recipe for how you get successful successful on youtube super high energy and covering stuff that kids like and it wasn't always like this at least that side being as popular as it is now the kids enthusiastic fake side of youtube it's more popular than ever but there used to be a time in og youtube where there'd be honest creators who were having real videos and funny videos break into the mainstream and the culture was uh, not what it is today. It's not as weird and twisted and trendy, at least like watered down trendy, because the trends that pop off now are so boring, bro. They're just so watered down. And I remember the trends back in the day were just filled with so much flavor, but I'm just reminiscing by this point. Let's just go back on topic with the Sniper Wolf stuff. OGs know what I was saying there though. But with the Sniper Wolf situation and YouTube's involvement with it, I mean, there was drama on Twitter about this. People are going after YouTube, trying to rip them to shreds, but they're just too big. They're never going to be affected by a few tweets that get a few hundred thousand, if not millions of views, because their market is hundreds of millions of people. It's not going to touch them. They're too big. So I think the only way we can get YouTube back to OG YouTube, or at least get them back to making good policies and having good morals and ethics, is if a bunch of channels make a Rumble account or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. And Optimus came out with that take, and I agreed. Um, cause I can't think of any way you can harm YouTube because this drama itself, Sniper Wolf doxing a creator and then people getting mad at Sniper Wolf and adding YouTube saying, Hey, you need to ban this chick. They are closing their eyes and closing their ears. They do not care. And it's going to wash over. They, they know it's not going to be a permanent thing. And I don't think it's going to create a big enough outrage to where YouTube even touches it or responds or addresses it. Because of the main reason being she generates them too much money. YouTube. Sniper Wolf generates, a, I would assume, maybe half a million a month, which is close to five, six million a year. And that's just from one content creator on their site. And I bet they generate YouTube an extra five to six million a year just through her channel. So YouTube's just sitting over here like, oh, one of our cash cows kind of messed up, whatever. Still squeezing out them bucks. So that's all we care about. YouTube kind of acts like a spoiled valley girl. Doesn't want to take accountability and only cares about money. I'd like to make an update video on this where I talk about how YouTube takes action and she they ban Sniper Wolf and she's gone and Jax Films takes the W. I'd like that, but it's just so unrealistic just because of the factors in play. She makes them a lot of money, so they don't care. Which means YouTube now protects doxers if they make them enough money. Boom.